you over there. Yeah, you kid. Put on some gloves so you don't hurt yourself. Huh? Oh, sorry about that. Looks like our little first year might actually have the stuff to stay in the ring. I could use another ringer to pick up the slack graduates left me with. Sorry, Cap, that's never gonna happen. He's actually on the student council. What? Then why is he showing up for our trial period? Well, I don't know that, but I can tell you this, Coach. If he wasn't with that psycho girl, that dude could be a champion. Hmm? <laughs> Okay, I visited the boxing team yesterday, so that covers all the martial arts. So I guess I should put my focus on... Yeah, that's it. I'll take on full contact sports. I don't understand why you're being so active all of a sudden. You were never exactly the athletic type. I'm not really, but I have this rule. Every day, I must sweat five liters. Ah! Oh, I know what you mean! I have to drink five liters of ramen every day. Chiranwi, ramen isn't a beverage. Caesar salad is basically vegetable juice. I love it. Well, that may be what it takes to keep up with Superwoman, but you might want to scale it back. And I'd say about half, maybe two thirds. People are talking about you a lot. They're calling you the student council club crasher. What? <laughs> are you worried about me? Come on. I'm not worried about you, you stupid idiot! Look here, dude. It's like this. I'm just trying to build up a reputation, that's all. But tell me, why are you sitting here and having lunch with me like we're friends when we're not? <coughs> so, they call me the Club Crasher. That nickname's a little weak, don't you think? You're trying to gain a reputation, Hideyoshi-kun? <laughs> Come with me, Mr. Big Tough Guy Reputation. I think I could use someone like you. Oh, don't worry. There's something in this for you. You're gonna like it. <laughs> Kanoya Senpai. I have to say, that guy looks pretty scary. Will Hideyoshi be okay by himself? Uh, uh, he should be fine. I only consider Hideyoshi my friend when I need something from him, you know? No, I'm no saint, but you, you're uh. evil, Sharanwi. <laughs> Don't worry. Hideyoshi should have no trouble handling Kanoya Senpai. Kanoya Senpai was actually a candidate for student council president. He amassed votes through violence, but then the princess gave him a beating and took him out in front of everyone. <laughs> He looked pretty bad when I saw him. He's even worse. And he hates Kurakami too, huh? Probably. So he's probably up to something really stupid. He said he needs help, but he won't submit a request to the suggestion box. If that's the case, dumb. Oh. <gasps> Hideyoshi hasn't visited the judo team. He said he'd done all the martial arts. The Kurakami Madaka takedown? Yeah, 
I'm recruiting allies for it right now. Interested in joining our little terror gang? You must be joking. Can't you see this armband? You've picked the wrong person to recruit. A man's entitled to his opinion, I guess. Your title may be General Clerk, but in reality, you're nothing more than that psycho girl's little bitch. I've heard how you've been crashing all the clubs. Just blowing off stress, right? Or is this your way of just letting us know you'd like to quit student council? You must be sick of following her orders every day, getting nothing in return. So you should side with me if you know what's good for you, punk. That girl stole the student council president election by force. Therefore, I should be allowed to use force to remove her. That was because you were scaring girls into voting for you, not because they wanted you in office. Ha! <laughs> you can stop playing the goody two-shoes there. I'm trying to help you out here. I'm your friend, pal. I don't want to see a hard-working guy like yourself go ignored. There must be something else you'd rather be doing. Oh, there are things I'd rather be doing right now. We're holding a meeting today, after school. If you want to switch sides, that's your last chance. Hell, that girl won't give a damn if you turn on her. Trust me on this. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, I don't agree with that at all. This is an exciting turn of events. How long were you there? Since the beginning. Then you already know the whole story. Guess you aren't too popular, Madaka-chan. That's fine. Being loved was never my goal. Never part of the plan. What's important is for me to love everyone. This is none of your business, Nkichi. The original pretty cure. The white one, I'll handle and the black one. Me. After all, it is the ruler's responsibility to quell any None rebellion. None of my business? I don't need you to tell me to stay out of it. I am already. Madaka-chan even likes her enemies. On paper, winning 98% of the vote sounds good, but it also means that 2% of the student body opposed her. The election proved that there were those who didn't support her, let's just say unique political views. However, it's irrelevant if those elements plot rebellion or pose a threat. Madaka-chan accepts them all. Kanoya-san! We should have enough weapons soon, so I say we attack. No, we'll need twice what we have here. And could we please get some that are thicker, longer, and easier to handle? <sighs> Aren't you being a little too careful? She might be crazy, but she's just a little girl. Come on, boss, that's tough! You idiot! You're an idiot! She isn't crazy, haven't you seen her? That bitch is a goddamn psychopath! Hey! Has anyone ever heard if she has a weakness? Uh, she just has some issues with animals, I think. What are you talking about, man? I heard she had a pet dog named Buster or something. You're so stupid. Damn! You're all worthless! Your fault I lost the election! You bunch of losers! Whatever. I made a backup plan, since I knew I couldn't rely on you. Huh? Oh! Hideyoshi-kun! Man, took you long enough. I've been waiting for you. What are you trying to pull? Madaka-chan is even willing to love gap-toothed, red-eyed punks like you. And if you carry out your plan, you probably won't even scratch her. She'll beat your ass. But since you let me find out, I'll have to take steps. My childhood friend can do everything by herself, but I can't neglect her. Kanoya senpai you said there must be something else I'd rather be doing. And I hate to admit to a punk like you, but you were right about me. 
I want to become someone who can protect Madaka-chan. I have no idea what that means! So tell me! What the hell are you trying to pull here? That's none of your business! You guys don't get a chance to repent. Tomorrow, start spreading the rumors that Student Council President Kurakami Madaka keeps a vicious watchdog at her side. Whether for personal reasons or reasons that affect the entire school, the Student Council will act! <laughs> Seems the Club Crasher isn't gonna drop by like he said he would. <laughs> He's probably scared. I mean, why wouldn't he? Our judo team is the best in the whole country. We kick ass! You fool! Only in the individual category. Is that all you're striving huh? for? Hmm. But, since you brought it up, I wonder why he really is crashing all these clubs. One would almost assume he's planning something devious, but he's not that smart. It was nothing more than a performance born out of desperation and insecurity. A futile display of fictional strength to support his claim that he alone is fit to stand beside the one who's the real champion. <laughs> what did you just say, Akune-kun? Do you know this for a verifiable fact? Of course. Hideyoshi's Zenkichi is a mere insect. While Korakami Madaka is my beautiful flower, a precious blossom. No one's coming. Come on, Ariake. If we don't hurry, we'll be late for practice. Yes, I'm sorry. But, Isahaya Senpai, why didn't you wait for me to finish changing? The past few days, you've been really nice to me. I sure do appreciate it. I am not being nice! <sighs> Please take more care. That was dangerous. Uh, I'm sorry. We wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Now would we, darling? Senpai! Isahaya Senpai, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Wait, Ariaki. Do you know who that was? Oh, yes, I do. Every second-year girl knows who he is. Akune Koyuki, from Class 211. The Prince of Judo. Zenkichi! We're visiting the judo team today. Ugh. Lock the door! Close the curtains! Show some modesty! How many times must I tell you this? I don't understand. Why should I have any qualms about showing off my finely toned body? Do you know how hard I've worked to get it this way? Oh, great! Now you sound like an exhibitionist! What did you say? The judo team? Yes! Their captain, Nebashima, the third year, submitted a request to the suggestion box. This is it. Uh, did she just say... Nabashima Nakomi-san from Team Special? The really famous one? The one they call the judo trickster? She's the judo team captain? Yes. Huh? However, she will soon be stepping down. And she'd like us to help her select her successor. Hmm. Well, in any case, we should pay a visit. Since the judo team has a familiar face, if you know what I mean. I knew that. It's why I wanted to stay away from the judo team. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to our dojo. I'm the one who sent the request. Judo team captain Nabashima Nakomi. I'm so glad that you could join us. <laughs> Student council president Kurakami Madaka. We are here to render any assistance we can. 
Yep, yep. I'm counting on you, Kurakami-chan. You see, I'm really the captain in name only, and to be totally frank with you, I've been having trouble choosing a replacement. Good help is so hard to find, you know? I didn't expect her to be like oh, this. Oh, that's right. First, someone on our team wants to say hello to you, and I think you two are gonna be magic. Akune! Hey, Akune-kun! It's been so very long, Madaka-san. I have stayed in the background, not wishing to disturb you during your valiant and much-needed reformation of the Council. I have awaited the day when you and I would be reunited at last. Let us dispense with the ceremony, Akune the Second Year. The others are watching us. Besides, for a man of your stature to behave thus sets a bad precedent. On the contrary, my darling. I feel no shame in being in a submissive role to you. I shall never be able to capably express my gratitude. If you wish to express your gratitude, stand tall, chest out, stomach in. Yes, yes, ma'am. Anything, Mataka-san. Anything at all, my dearest darling. <laughs> and now, for the reason we're here, important student council business. To select your successor, I believe a new team captain is needed, right? For now, we'll consider you an exception, Akune, the uh -huh. second year. Go chat with Senkichi for a moment. Or maybe more than that. I bet there must be catching up to do. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, so sorry, what was your name again? Hitoyoshi Zenkichi-kun. And who might you be, he said like he cared. Hey! Insect! I see you're still doing a fine job of limiting Madaka-san's full potential. And just to make sure you're aware it was your fault Madaka-san didn't win 100% of the really? vote. Well, I wouldn't be hard on me if I were you. Your fans would cry if they knew their darling Prince of Judo was bullying an underclassman. It'd only show your true colors. <laughs> my mind and body exist to serve my dear Madaka-san. For her, I would willingly become as reviled as a poisonous viper or one of those nasty mongoose type <laughs> things. Then I'm an insect and you're a snake? You're the one who hasn't changed a bit, Akane-senpai. When we went to the same middle school, you liked Madaka-chan so much. And then you hated me just as much as you liked her. Madaka-chan is adored by many, but it was rare to see anyone take their adoration that far. Huh. <laughs> Listen up! I am of the strong opinion judo cannot be taught by others. You learn it yourselves. I shall begin by assessing your worth. If you believe yourself worthy, step up! Don't hold back simply because I'm a woman. And believe me, I will take on all comers and fight until none of you remain. No! Oh my gosh, that's the ultimate counter stance! <laughs> she doesn't seem to respect our story, judo team. I'm almost insulted. Oh, come now, you can't really blame her. We may be the judo team by loose sense of the word, but you and I are probably the only ones who could put up a fight. And just maybe we... Hey! All you just sit back and watch, I'm going first. I'm Joan in the team's assistant captain. Look at me, you think anybody else is even close to being qualified? <laughs> and you can't blame me if I accidentally touch your boobs during a match, which I am going to... <laughs> Naturally! However, did you not understand me? I said that I would take on all comers and I wouldn't hold back. Boobies. Nice one, Jonan Kuhn. So who else were you about to include, huh? Oh, please, you're not serious. There's no one. However, Madaka-san is just wonderful. Her brilliance has increased since middle school. <sighs> hey, Hideyoshi-kun, what do you think about all this? Nothing, really. As a middle school second year, she earned herself a red belt through sheer strength. At this point, nothing she does surprises me. <laughs> Is that true? Actually, I feel the same way. People call her a psycho or a prodigy, but she simply does what she's able to do, and that's it. She isn't doing anything impossible. As crazy as it sounds, what she's doing is the equivalent of us walking on two legs. 
On the other hand, I think it's amazing that someone normal like you can keep up with that freak of nature. Most would have fallen to the side. Right? Club Crasher Hideyoshi Zenkichi-kun. Uh, I'm not trying to keep up with her by choice. It's not like I'm in charge. She's the one dragging me around by a ring. She basically forced me to join the student council. I didn't have a choice. I see. So you were forced to join against your will. In that case, why don't I take your place? I do not say this on a whim. Until now, I've accepted this farce out of respect for Madaka-san's compassion. But your time has come at last! You may be only a helpless insect, but you're in high school now, big man. Insects habitually hide beneath large rocks or mats. But you should learn to stand on your own six legs. I'm the one who should learn to stand on my own? Are you kidding? You think I'm helpless? At least I can keep freak shows away from Madaka-chan. I'd like to see what you're doing. <laughs> now, now, now! Stop fighting! This is a sacred judo dojo you need to respect. And while you never showed up to crash our club, I'm certain you're trained in judo. I would be disappointed if you didn't have some skill. So I have an idea. We'll settle this with judo. <laughs> If Akunikun wins, the two of you will switch roles. Akunikun will join the student council, while Hideyoshi-kun joins the judo team, replacing me as the captain. Nabashima Senpai, was this your actual agenda when you submitted your request? <laughs> yep. Uh huh. I really love hard-working boys like you. I get all tingly inside. Huh? Box Academy uniform is black as night, with a bit of cleavage to prove my loyalty. Witness the perseverance and passion of a man protecting a woman. It will be a pleasure. And I mean pleasure. <laughs> 